Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Welcome. Welcome to the Apple campus. Uh, we have a lot of iPhone app developers in the audience and members of our press and some of the teams who have worked on some of the things that we're going to show you today. We're going to have a little bit of fun. We're going to give you a preview of iPhone OS. And I'm Greg Jobs. We're going to have the Vice President of iPod and iPhone Product Marketing. And I'll be joined by Scott Forstall. And we'll give you a preview of this and share some of our future plans for the iPhone OS and what we're calling version 3.0. These are only a few of the more than 1,000 APIs that make up the SDK in iPhone 3.0. Let me touch on just a few more of these uh, in-app email. We now have a sheet, an email sheet, that you can use right from your application so you don't have to leave it to send an email. Proximity sensor is now a public API. This is a big one, iPod library access. Developers can now access, browse, and play music right out of the built-in iPod library on the phone. Uh, streaming audio and video. We're introducing a new standard for streaming audio and video over HTTP, so it even goes through firewalls. Make the Shake API public, so you can use shaking. Uh, we've made data detectors and core data we've added. An in-game voice. We've even, if you have a, a game that plays over Wi-Fi, we have built-in voice chat APIs you can use to add voice into your game. So again, just a few of the over a thousand APIs we're adding for developers. This is a big update for the iPhone SDK. Now, as I'd said earlier, iPhone 3.0 brings a lot of incredible features for developers. It also brings them for our customers. And in fact, iPhone 3.0 has more than a hundred new features for our customers. There are so many more. I want to touch on a few of these because they're important. Uh, note sync. If you take notes on your iPhone, they'll now synchronize with your Mac or your PC using iTunes. Uh, shake to shuffle. We're taking a popular feature of the Nano and bringing it to the iPhone and iPod Touch. Wi-Fi auto login. This allows you to automatically log into your favorite Wi-Fi hotspot. So for instance, if you have an account at Starbucks, for their Wi-Fi hotspots. When you go in, it'll automatically connect you to that Wi-Fi hotspot, and you can use it. And when you leave, it'll automatically disconnect. Stereo Bluetooth. We're adding support for the A2DP profile of Bluetooth, so you can now use your stereo Bluetooth headphones and your stereo Bluetooth speakers. There's some nice additions to Safari. Anti-phishing to help protect you against scams on the internet, and autofill. So it'll remember your names and passwords for the favorite websites you go to, making it easy to log in. Parental controls. We're extending parental controls to include TV shows, movies, and even applications from the App Store. Languages. We have greatly enhanced the language support by adding support for more languages and really improving the keyboards for languages around the world. And YouTube. You can now log in to your YouTube account, which allows you to share your favorites between your iPhone, your desktop, and even Apple TV. And you can also subscribe to your friends' YouTube channels right on your iPhone. So iPhone 3.0. We are so excited about this. There are incredible features for developers and for our customers. Just quickly, let me recap the, high, the big ones. In-app purchase, a new purchase model enabling things like subscriptions and additional game levels. Peer-to-peer -peer connectivity, enabling peer-to-peer -peer games and other peer-to-peer -peer apps. Accessories, now you can write custom applications that talk directly to your accessory. Maps, a built-in map control that you can embed in your application. Push notifications, a generic push notification service for all developers. Cut, copy, and paste, and undo. Landscape, and that landscape keyboard taken to all of our key applications. Messages, now support for MMS. A new application, voice memos for recording audio files. Calendar, now support for CalDAV and subscriptions. Some nice enhancements to the stock application. 
search across all the key applications, and Spotlight, a single location on the home screen to search across your phone. And these are only a few of the more than 100 new features and more than 1,000 new APIs that make up iPhone OS 3.0. We're really excited about this. It is a major update to the operating system. And I can't wait until you get your hands on it. And to tell you how you're going to do that, I'd like to turn it back over to JAWS. Thanks. So we hope you're as excited about this release as we are. And of course, how are you going to get it? How are we going to make it available? Well, we're going to first make it available as a developer beta. And the good news is we're going to make that beta available today. Now, I mentioned that the iPhone was available in 80 countries around the world. Well, the App Store has been available in 62 of those countries. We're also announcing that we're adding 15 more countries to the list. So the App Store will now be available in 77 countries around the world. But how about the rest of us? You know that iPhone OS 3.0 is going to be a great customer release when it's available. And we're going to ship it this summer. And we're going to ship it as a customer update, software update, free to all of our iPhone 3G customers. And as a special bonus, we've even enabled it to work on the original iPhones. Now, the hardware has changed enough between these two devices that not all the features will be available on the original iPhone. For instance, MMS and stereo Bluetooth will not be available on the original iPhone. But the vast majority of features will. So again, a free update for iPhone customers. We're also making it available as a software update for all our iPod Touch customers. And it's both generations. And as you know, we charge for significant updates for the iPod Touch. But I think you'd agree at $9.95 for 10 bucks, that it's a, it's a great value for all that new capability. So that's iPhone OS 3.0. Over 1,000 new APIs for developers. Over 100 new features for customers. And that developer beta available today and shipping for the rest of us this summer. <laughs>